In the Rebel 6 Brush Creator series, I talked about the pressure levels of your stylus being a three-tiered process on your computer. So that means that the computer itself adjusts pressure. You can adjust on a number of different devices. If you have a device like the Microsoft Surface Pro, the Surface Pro has its own settings for the pressure of the stylus. You can set it to soft or firm. Now I recommend adjusting first the pressures at your system level. Whatever device you're using, if it has an option of adjusting soft or firm for your stylus, to adjust it there first and get it close to what you want. Use a default brush, something that doesn't have fancy pressure settings like this Pentel. You can see a difference between light and heavy. Something in uh, Microsoft OneNote or another application where you can see how those settings affect your regular applications. After you've done that, come into Rebel. If you're in Rebel 7 and you notice that all of the brushes are requiring just a little bit more pressure than you want to push with your hand, everything feels a little bit firm, a little hard, you're pushing harder with your stylus to get what you want, then where we adjust that, we go into Preferences, here in the Edit menu, Preferences, Tablet, and here we have our software-wide settings. So we have Cursor Position Smoothing. This will affect every brush, every tool. If we turn it on, all of them will have Positional Smoothing adjusted. This is the same setting as over here in our Properties panel. To save it to a specific brush, we need to click on this little icon. When this is unchecked, this is going to mimic the settings that we have inside of Preferences and Tablet. Notice that these are the same right here. If I move this over to Pulled String and click OK, this is going to update to do the same thing. There's an option here for adjusting pressure sensitivity with a curve for your system and we can reset it with the X. Now here, pen pressure smoothing. If you're drawing a ramped line, like we want to go from small to big and back down to small, but you notice that there's these little divots here on the side, but we want this to ramp up smoothly like on this initial part of the stroke. With pressure smoothing turned up, it'll help us go from thin to thick and back down in a smoother fashion. Pressure sensitivity, this is where we adjust the software-wide settings. If we bring this to the left, then very, very light pressure. Notice this line that shows up here. Very light pressure is going to give us a feeling as if we're pressing hard with the stylus. If we bring this to very firm, then we need to push very hard, very, very hard to get that full pressured line. I recommend only changing these settings if all of the brushes feel off. If one of the brushes feels very good and another one feels okay, a little too firm, adjust it per brush. This will give you a better result than trying to change all of them to match up with the uh, pressure that feels good for you. Now to adjust the size of a brush with pressure, we're going to use the size option inside of stroke in the brush creator. Opacity, to adjust opacity, we're going to be looking at this slider right here, pen pressure. In shape and grain, we have an option here when there are multiple images to switch those with pen pressure. So let's say this one is a star and the first one is a circle. Then when we push, this is light pressure, medium pressure, this is heavy pressure. When we push with light pressure, it will be the star. And as we push heavier, it switches to the circle. Inside of stroke, let's revert this. Inside of stroke, if we want opacity to be affected by pressure 0%, then we leave this at zero. Setting this to low on the left is gonna mean light pressure, we're going to have lower opacity, and heavy pressure, we're going to have higher opacity. If we remove all but one node, here 
we'll understand on the right side, you can see the brush growing and shrinking. The line will be the same regardless of pressure because it's flat over here. So now if we bring one side down and the other one up, nothing will happen with pressure until we get to this level of pressure. So we don't see anything until we get to this level of pressure. If we want to bring this all the way to the left. You'll see we'll start with a small line that increases in size based on how hard we push. In the properties panel of the brushes, we can show pressure here. This pressure slider is if you are using a mouse or a stylus that doesn't support pressure. This setting is not one that I recommend using if you've got a pressure sensitive stylus. So if I put my mouse on the screen and drag this left, you can see that I can get a response as if I was using a stylus with that pressure level set. All right, let's go ahead and hide that again. Now, most of the options that have this little curve editor, these are dependent on a number of different factors. Some are based on tilt, some are based on pressure. And what you'll see here at the bottom, if it says the word pressure here, and you push on the screen with your stylus, you should be able to see that pressure line showing that that's a pressure sensitive component that you can adjust. Notice also here on the left, low to high influence. This is how much effect the property listed at the top will have based off of pressure. So here, texture strength is influenced a high amount, a high amount with low pressure, a low amount with high pressure. And to reset any of these curves, you can click on the corner X. In the next video, we're going to start going through the brush creator by section, these tabs, stroke, shape and grain, paint, and textures, as well as talking through some of the icons that you see here in the properties panel and the brush creator panel. We'll be talking through stroke and these options listed in the stroke tab. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.